And I found mentors to help me, a guy named Larry A., and a guy, a retired Orthodox minister named Father Gordon Walker. This guy was magical. He taught me one of the greatest lessons of my life. Uh, one morning we were in this, uh, it was a Bible study. We called it a drunk's Bible study, or the bloody knees group, because we fall down and get back up. We fall down and get back up. And then we just share our experience on a Bible verse. And one morning it was a verse that Paul said to be grateful for everything. And Father Gordon exp explained that you should be grateful for the good things in life as well as the bad. Because sometimes the bad things turn out good, and sometimes the good things turn out bad, don't they? So just be grateful for it. And if you can't find anything to be grateful for, just be grateful for God's love and mercy and needing His care and love. So I thought, well, I can do that. So that night, I sat in my car, and I said, Thank you, God, for a roof over my head, even though it's a sunroof. Thank you for running water, even though I have to run across the truck stop parking lot to get it. Thank you for the bathrooms I get to use, and I never have to clean them. <laughs> the irony is, now I own a cleaning company, so I'm cleaning them all the time. I'm making up for lost time. But, and I went from there. You know, I, I would go to the Concord Recreation Center. I could pay $3, work out, take a shower, and get a cup of coffee. And I started finding things to be grateful for. I mean, I took it to extreme limits. And it's a wonderful thing to do. I decided, hey, you know, the world's my home, right? The highway's just my hallway. I have a library. Donald Trump probably has a beautiful library on his house. But he, have to, he has to pay taxes and staff, and he has to work all the time. And he doesn't have time to enjoy it. I go to the Brentwood Library, the Williamson County Library. I got several libraries. Bathrooms? I mean, you know, Bill Gates has a lot of bathrooms in his house. But geez, I've probably got 15 bathrooms in downtown Franklin alone. There's Starbucks, there's Puckets, there's Sweet Seasons. And I don't have to pay for the toilet paper or nothing in the place. It's just incredible. And I took that attitude. I'd walk around Radnor Lake during the day and think, you know, I used to work a job I hate, trying to pay for a house I couldn't afford, wishing I could do what I'm doing now. Now I'm in my car, and I'm just loving the day. So it was just that change in attitude that made a big difference in my life.